In this section, I am going to cover some of the unique features of the encoder section of the EOS console. So let's take a look at those. First, let's look at how this is set up. The encoder section is basically comprised of six encoders and a touchscreen and some page buttons. Now, the conventions on how this work is similar no matter what you're doing. The pages are broken up by category, which are form, image, shutter, color, and custom. And then within each category, there are, in, there are also encoder pages. At the top of the touch screen, you will see a, the category that you're in and a page number of page number, so you can always know where you are. To move through the pages of encoders, you simply repeatedly press the appropriate category button. So right now, if I'm in color, page number two, I can push color again and go to three and four and cycle back to one and two, so I can step through them. If I know I want to go to a specific page in color, I can push and hold the color button and then choose the number of the page that I want to go to, maybe page four on the keypad, and then when I release the color, it will jump directly to page four. So that's how you would move around. Now to demonstrate how some of these other features work, I'm, I am going to use some of my lights with scrollers. So what I want to do is grab my scroller channels and turn them on. And on my page number two, I have a section that allows me to control the scroller. Now, one of the most simple ways I can control the scroller is just with the encoder. Now, one of the things about the encoder is that it's also a button. And by pushing the encoder down, I'll toggle between coarse mode and fine mode. So right now I'm in coarse mode, but I'm going to go ahead and push the encoder button. And now I'm in fine mode. Now when I turn the encoder, I'm simply running the scroll from beginning to end, just like I am, and it's, the, it's just responding. But when I'm in coarse mode, what's nice about this is that the encoder will actually have little detents. So it will, it will snap to position at the center of each frame, so, so you can always feel when that is ready to go. So that's using the encoder. There are also some really nice features built into the touch display. There are buttons, shortcut buttons typically, like home. I can home my scrollers. I can jump between next frame and last frame, which is very nice. If in that uh, touch button area there's a little E, that means that there's expanded content available. And if I push the E, what we now have is an expansion where I can jump directly to any of the frames that are there. And this works for all uh, fixtures that might have frames. So if I'm working with an image fixture that has gobos in it, if I expand the gobo wheel, it will show me thumbnails of the gobos if they're properly configured in the console. So that's a very nice way to get immediate access to what you're working with. Other things to look for in some of those frequently used commands, if I grab my Mac 700s, you notice down in the pan tilt, there's a flip. So I can flip the, the, the pan and the tilt. Coarse and fine also apply. And there are home values for each of the various categories. So there's quite a bit of functionality built right into that touchscreen and the encoders. And that is how you would use the encoder section of the EOS console to control your parameters.